So, today's the day. You know what all the maps do. You know how to create them. You understand how the principal shader works and how to plug it in. But you've heard a lot of scary things about procedural textures and you're not sure if you got what it takes to handle it. Not a problem. In the next two minutes, you will be the master of your very first procedural texture. All right, let's do this. Shift A, S, noise texture. Start with scale at 4.2, drag detail up to 16, and drag color into base color. Press Shift A, S, color ramp, and drag it over to existing connection. Now I want my marble to be white with shades of gold and black detail. So the farthest points on the left and the right side are gonna be white. I'm gonna make a gold point in the middle and then trap it between two black points to highlight the details. So this is what my final color setup looks like. Now, marble is usually multi-layered, so we're gonna add a second layer. But this time we want the details to be more clear to contrast with the smooth color we have above. So select the noise and the color ramp, shift D to duplicate, and hold control shift and left click on the second color ramp so we only see what What's going on here. We're gonna keep the white color and to make the black detail I'm gonna create two black points around here and trap them with white points on either side for high contrast. So this is what my final color setup looks like and just to add a touch of gray I'll make this point here gray instead. Also, just to make sure the pattern is a bit different from the first layer, let's scale up the noise on the second layer just a bit. Awesome. Now let's mix the two together. Shift A, S, Mix RGB and drag it over the base color link. Drag color from ramp 1 into color 1 and drag color from ramp 2 into color 2. Change mode to multiply and set factor up to around 0.8. You're done. And look at that. Not too bad, right? Congratulations, you have created your very first procedural texture from absolutely nothing. Now, from here, you can make it more complex if you want. Since this is a black and white map, you can actually use it as a rough map if you invert it. If you want to add some depth to it, you can drag in a bump node and plug it into ramp 2 as well. There's an unlimited number of tricks and nodes like Musgrave and Wave you can use for different effects, and you can make it infinitely complicated. But that's up to you. It doesn't have to be complex if you don't want it to be. If you're just wondering about what you need to get marble, then this is it. If you're a new user, don't be afraid of procedural mapping. At the end of the day, procedural textures are just another image like every other texture. We'll do a few more procedural maps like chipping and scratches just to make sure you're comfortable with them, but like everything else in Blender, remember. It's just a matter of knowing where to click. As always, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.